Hello, my name is Paul Tranny, and I want to take you through the Adobe Edge tools and services in five minutes because I know you're busy, so let's go ahead and hit start. Know that they're all optimized for creating mobile-ready web content and apps, and they all focus on a specific task, but they all can work well together as well. I'm going to show you how they work well together and what they do, starting with Edge Animate. Now, Edge Animate, you can get for free from creativecloud.com. You can create a new file. This happens to be an HTML file. You can manipulate it accordingly pretty easily. In fact, as I manipulate it, I can add a div if I want to and visually uh, manipulate that as well, getting at that the way I want. I can add text, as you'd expect, and go beyond system fonts, and I can add a web font. In fact, I can add an edge web font in this case. So if I scroll down, notice right in here, I can change that text and see how that text looks picking the one I want. I kind of like Arvo. So I'll take that JavaScript right there, paste it right in here, and type in Arvo. And this goes for a number of the tools, not just Edge Animate, integrating Edge web fonts into your project that easily. In fact, I can grab an image, drop it in. Good old Teddy Roosevelt. Let's move this out of the way and uh, start working with this image. In fact, adding some animation to it. So he can start off over here, two seconds in, he can slide in just like that and it creates that animation. Taking this text or any item, I can add some interactivity to it, some JavaScript. In this case, when you click on the text, I want it to say Teddy, okay? So I've added some JavaScript to that right there. You can see him slide in, click, there's good old Teddy. In fact, going beyond that, you can get more advanced. This is scalable content and works just fine. Okay, so you can get pretty advanced, but think about, think about scalable content, content that fits across different screens, and that's when Reflow comes into play. So I can launch Reflow, and you can integrate any any of your graphics that you want, create divs, and what's great is you can create these breakpoints. So I can start to scale this down and say, hey, you know what? I can add a breakpoint right there, which is a media query, and I can start to change this. So I can say, okay, you know this big animation? Maybe I don't want it to show up. And what I did is I just changed the CSS property. So you can create your layouts, style all your content, and also get specific based on uh, the different layouts as well and export out that CSS as well. And that's coming to you soon, but you then take your content and you'd manipulate it or write all the code that you need to using something like Edge Code. Okay, so here's Edge Code. In fact, you can see this, how everything's scalable, looks great, uh, going beyond, um, you know, CSS and HTML in JavaScript, but it's built for that, okay? So I can do a command E on this uh, function call and it opens up that function directly, okay? So that's a huge thing, being able to do that. In fact, I can do that for icons as well. And you start to get into some further manipulating, being able to manipulate these objects based on the CSS. And this is extensible. It's based on brackets, which is open source. So you create what you want, Going beyond that, what I want to do is uh, once your site is finished, what if you want to create an app? Well, you can use PhoneGap Build for that. Based on you know your web expertise, you can create an app just like I've done here. Okay, so select new app. You can upload a zip file or go from a, a Git repo, but basically upload your content and make an app for these many platforms. In fact, if I take a look at um, my mobile device, I can come in here and I can take a picture of that right there. Let's take a look. This code right here and take a snapshot of it to install that on my device. So I'm taking a snapshot of that QR code and it's starting to download it, okay? So you wanna open it, yes, and it will install that for you, okay? Let's go beyond that, it's gonna install, sure, that's great. I wanna get into Edge Inspect since I only have 40 seconds left, and what Edge Inspect allows me to do is actually inspect my content so I can have my History Makers website right here and look. I have Edge Inspect running on, on my uh, mobile device as well as in my browser. I can start to take a look and see, oh, Paul's iPhone 5 is all squared away. In fact, I can take a snapshot of that screen. You saw that flash, and it actually will create this screenshot 
as well, okay? So that's how that's done. Know that you can also inspect items, but I only have three seconds, but beyond that you can inspect items as well, and that means remotely inspecting those items, uh, which I can get into later. But hopefully that was a good overview of the Edge tools and services, and hopefully you got a lot out of this. Thanks so much for watching.